Throughout its history, Roman civilization had many enemies, but none of them were as fierce as the Germanic peoples, and no other enemy fought the Romans for so long. The conflict between these two peoples decided the fate of Rome. By 113 BC, Roman Republic was in control of most of the Mediterranean. However, the most terrifying enemy was on its way. Between 120 and 115 BC, the Jutland Peninsula was overcrowded or was too cold to live in. In any case, the proto-German tribe Kimbrians began its way to the south. They were joined by their neighbors, the Teutons and Ambrons. The tribes, now 200,000 warriors strong, were searching for a new home. For a long time, the Alps mountains were the natural borders which protected Romans from barbarians. But finally in 113 BC, Cimbrians, Teutons and Ambrons entered Noricum, territory of modern Austria. Actually, Noricum wasn't Roman territory, but they were allies of the Roman Republic and had very close commercial relations with the Romans. Noricum people mined ore, gold, silver. They mined salt and sold everything to their powerful rich neighbor. Noricum was a territory of craftsmen and farmers. Noricum people couldn't fight wild warriors and they begged for help. Romans realized the threat, and especially Romans were scared to hear that barbarians came with women and children. Obviously, strangers were looking for a new land to live in, and Romans didn't want to have such neighbors. The Roman Republic was governed by the Senate and two consuls on the top. One of them was named Carbo. He took the lead and moved to the north with 30,000 legionnaires. Carbo had his own selfish wishes. He wanted to gain glory from this war. He wanted to become famous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
When the German people saw the Romans, they decided to retreat. For the first time in their life, they saw a strong, well-trained, equipped army. Tribe leaders sent ambassadors to Cabo and promised to leave the Norikum and never come back. Cabo agreed. But as soon as the ambassadors left, he ordered to kill them and to make an ambush for the main barbarian forces. The Roman consul didn't want just to drive away barbarians. He wanted to defeat them in battle, which would allow him to get glory. But the Germans found out about the betrayal, and they were furious and promised not to leave until they took bloody revenge. The Cimbrian War had started. Terrible rain with thunder stopped the fight, saved the Romans from total defeat. However, 24,000 of 30,000 legionnaires were killed. Carbo was disgraced and impeached as consul by the Senate. Later, he committed suicide. Starting with the Cimbrian War, enmity between Romans and the German people lasted for about 700 years. War with German tribes heavily influenced Roman Republic and the Roman army. 
It was the beginning of the end of the Republic and was a first step to the famous professional army of the Roman Empire. <laughs>